Hello and welcome to the first in something that I will hope will be a regular occurrence, maybe even weekly if you're very lucky. This is a game and vlog. The clue is in the title. I'm going to play a game while I'm vlogging um, for your entertainment. Every week I'm going to talk about a topic in gaming, be it past, present or future, and play a particularly good game or even a bad game sometimes, you never know. Um, but yeah. Today we are going to be playing a game that, um, to celebrate the SNES Mini, I could go with the obvious choice of Star Fox 2, but let's go with a game that has never properly been re-released unless you count a, uh, a middling GBA version. This is Yoshi's Island, or as the title screen says, Super Mario World 2. Now, it's a game that I've never actually finished. I don't know why, I've just never got around to it. I never owned it at the time. I, I nearly owned it. I think I was staring at a copy um, at one point, but I ended up getting another game instead. Um, but I've never just sat back and actually finished it. I keep meaning to do it. Um, and this game is actually on my list of games to finish as part of my uh, my covering of every single Super FX game ever. But it's going to be a while till I actually get to this game properly because it really is one of the last Super FX games to be released on the system. Uh, it uses the Super FX2 chip, so it's you know it's very late on. Nonetheless, that is not the topic of this of this uh, vlog. The topic is the SNES Mini, which was uh, announced this week to a really surprising. Um, sort of thing really. Nintendo loved to just put these mad surprises which we sort of knew was coming but um, not this soon especially so soon after E3 um, and what an announcement really if you think about it I mean 21 SNES games and not just like a sort of middling range of of um, you know great games to okay-ish games like most of those games on there are absolute blinders um, and the ones that aren't are still very good I mean Looking at the the list kind of listing games in front of me, I mean, I guess maybe the weakest might be Super Ghouls and Ghosts, but that's still a really great game. Um, but of course, the big deal is, of course, Star Fox 2, which has never ever um, been released officially. There's been a leaked version um, available for years on the internet, a couple of leaked versions actually, and, and those have been sort of hacked together. Um, to make them a bit more playable, but this is the first time we're actually going to get the final finished, totally localised, um, bug fixed version, um, contrary to popular belief, um, and that's an incredible thing for Nintendo to reach into their archives and release something. Um, it's the second time they've done that, they did that with, um, with Earthbound, well Mother 1, uh, Earthbound 0, um, as it was kind of later known as through the hacking community, and that was a similar situation where a game had been cancelled at the last minute that was completely finished, um, but for some reason or another just didn't make it out and um, later on a hacked version came out and, and was leaked to the public and a similar thing with Star Fox 2 so to have that um, again incredible incredible deal um, but also the other big deal is that also means that this is the first time that, that Nintendo have been able to re-release uh, uh, Super FX games which they've never done before likely due to legal issues um, and I have heard that the, the patent for um, uh, for Super FX games ran out last year, it's like a 20 year uh, patent. Um, so that's possibly why they've suddenly been able to do this. And I, I guess they've been sort of sitting on this for a while waiting to do it. Um, but it's great to see, um, as you can imagine. It'd be great to play this game as well. There's also, of course, this, this, the original Star Fox, which I've covered before on this channel. Um, there's a review of it already. Um, that's probably the first game to start with of my Super FX uh, sort of coverage. Um, again, loads of other good games. Uh, Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars, um, which again, uh, it's been re-released before, but uh, again, it's one of those games that's not hasn't really been released in Europe properly, apart from a few virtual console releases. Um, you've got some other classics like um, Contra 3 or Pro Protector as it was known um, here in Europe. Uh, you've got Super Ghouls and Ghosts as I mentioned earlier. Obviously you've got Mario World which is quite frankly one of the most perfect games ever made. Um, which is obviously another chance for people to play if they haven't done so already. Um, you've got F-Zero, you've got Legend of Zelda of course. And why wouldn't you want to play a Legend of Zelda game after the brilliant Breath of the Wild. Um, Super Punch Out which is one of those games that I absolutely love. It's the sort of game that I'm gonna I come back to every now and then just for a little play because it's just so much fun. Um, I think it's better than the original NES version, and I know that's not a, a, a popular um, opinion, but hey, that's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. Um, Super Metroid, of course, which you know, 
I'm happy with. Um, I can't, I'm kind of waiting for a, a Switch port of uh, Super Metroid so I can sort of play it on the go. Um, it's on the 3DS already, but I'd like a nice big Switch screen to play it on um, and play that game. Uh, what else is there? you got Mario Kart again. Mario Kart is another cracking game. Uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which I was sort of expecting um, Super Street Fighter 2, or, um, to, but Turbo is a very good version indeed, um, and probably the one that most people um, are aware of. Uh, Kirby Superstar, which is a collection of um, various sort of Kirby mini games, again that's a good bit of value. Final Fantasy 3, never officially released in Europe, um, although it has made it to Virtual Console, um, and some of the ports has as well on the, uh, on the Game Boy Advance as well. Um, what else is there? Super Castlevania 4, another great game. Um, can't really fault it really, probably one of my favourite games in the series. Um, Donkey Kong Country, again another classic, not to everyone's taste, but a very good game. Mega Man X, um, my favourite Mega Man out a lot, so it's always fun to play that. And um, that's another game I've reviewed in the past, so you can always check that out. And then we've got uh, Kirby's Dream Course, which is a weird sort of puzzly uh, mini golf game which is a lot of fun um, actually worth checking out it's quite quite different um, for, for any sort of game really um, as we know we've got this game we've got um, Secret of Mana which is one of my favorite games ever um, shame we're not getting a, a translated version of Sacred Densetsu 3 the sequel but hey any excuse to play the original game again is always good in my opinion and of course Earthbound as well, which is the last one to mention. Um, again, another game not officially released in this country until the Virtual Console. Um, so again, good to see that being released and Nintendo are aware that that is a very popular game and needs to be on here. So that's you know, that's 21 games. That is a lot of very good games. Um, again, I can't really think of a bad game among them. All of those games I would happily play multiple times. Um, and in this on this tiny little mini SNES, which is just so little cute it's good to see that sort of here in the in the uk and europe we're getting the proper power version with the multicolored buttons and not the purple palm or violet like uh, hue of the uh, of the american version which is a bit yeah a bit ugly um, but again my opinion um but yes yeah, it's, it's, it's looking like it's going to be really good um uh, i've actually already got a uh, a snes pad that would work with it as a, they did a um, a Wii SNES pad for use with, uh, as part of the Club Nintendo rewards, uh, and that works with the Wii, and that actually worked with the it works with the SNES Mini already, um, so it's going to work with the, um, uh, the SNES Mini as well. So again, quite, that's quite a good idea to have those. Again, I don't like the idea of the, um, the sort of front ports opening up as a door to get to the the main ports of the controller. That looks really ugly and just doesn't look nice. I'd rather they would just make little um, sort of proper ports on the front of the system, just to make it just look a bit okayer. It's fine, um, but it's going to be a good system. Uh, if it's anything like the NES Mini was, um, it's going to be some pretty decent emulation. Um, hopefully, there won't be a few of the uh, sound delay issues that some of us experienced at the time, um, which were a bit of a pain in the ass. But you know, again, not the end of the world. But I don't know about you. I'm I'm pretty excited about the whole thing. Um, I'm playing this on a SNES. I mean, I have most of these games already, but I like the idea of a quick and simple tiny NES that I can just pick up and play. I can, oh yeah, I can take it to my office and plug it into my monitor and play it, and that, that's fantastic. So, um, so yeah, I want to know your thoughts. You know, what do you think about uh, this NES Mini? Will you be getting one? Are you sort of worried about the um, the potential of the uh, being sort of lots of stuff sold out, no stock like there was with the NES Mini? I mean, what do you think? There's any games that you think are missing from this uh, from the list of 21 games out there? Uh, tell me your thoughts. Um, maybe also, hey, if you like me doing this sort of thing, tell me, tell me, tell me what kind of games you want me to play while I'm doing this. Um, what topics you'd like me to talk about? Anything really? Um, I'm going to play Yoshi's Island for the rest of the day now, so I'm going to let you go away. Um, hope you enjoyed this short little blog. Um, let me know. Tell me if you want to see more, and I'll hopefully see you next week for more vlogging or more game and vlog. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this and want more, you can click this icon to subscribe, this icon to support me financially via Patreon, or these icons to watch more videos from my channel. Why not take a few seconds to answer the question of the week in the comments or just let me know what you thought of this video. See you next week.